I was just streaming a solo battles game and I just ended it so we are live with a new video about to open up I guess because I went to my item binder to get the presents so it, it automatically turned from the presents into these packs these gold packs that touchdown pack is from like a uh, like an ultimate rewards bundle or something like that from solo battles or something like that but uh it's basically just other cards that i haven't picked yet okay so for one christmas present i got a 79 overall jabril peppers and that's what i'm i'm taking so far i got out of position pack so i had five small presents for December 19th so I'm guessing that they're not releasing new content Nathan Gary what is he is he normally a uh, corner or a linebacker It's hard, it's hard to tell with uh, strong safety out of position. I don't know what he usually is. I want to say he's usually like a, a linebacker or something. I don't know. But yeah, I really do hope they release some new cards. I'm guessing... You see how they just released the uh, Luke Keekley and the uh, Aaron Rodgers? That's probably the best we're going to get now that I'm, I'm seeing what they're giving us for the present which is it's only december 19th it's the first one it's going to be the next one the worst ones so uh i don't know maybe they'll surprise us on christmas Eve or something like that but yeah the, just, i'm just showing you what uh i think i'm gonna go with the de castro just because i think they're gonna give him an upgrade sometime soon so i'm sure i'm sure it'll maybe stay around 80 or around 40 or 50k somewhere around there what's normal for 87 but yeah kind of kind of <laughs> not up to my expectations but hopefully ea is going to come through with some awesome cards in the future and i mean they've been releasing some pretty decent cards here of late but I don't know. This was kind of a letdown, really, honestly. Like, I, I really... Like, I could have I could have bought packs instead of ch changing it in for presents. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was kind of... I don't know. Like, instead of... If they would have just said, on December 19th, your pack will turn into a, a out-of-position, or your present will turn into an out-of-position pack, then I would have never bought that present. You know what I'm saying? I'd have never say, okay, so now they got a new Iron Man pack. Let's, I'm going to open up one of them just for, let's see what we can get. First, let's look at the info. Alright, so you got a 4.8% chance of getting an 87 plus, a 14% of 84 plus. So it's a D hot player, so maybe they did release new cards and I just didn't get them. Let's see what the Iron Man thing is. Okay, I just pulled up. So there's a new Deion Sanders at wide receiver. So maybe that's what... Maybe I should have waited to open up my bags. I don't know. Maybe they didn't get the cards in there yet. Alright, so I got a tight end. Out of position. But there is a new Deion Sanders wide receiver. There's a Calvin Johnson at free safety, D Hop at, at free safety, Aaron Donald at left guard, Edelman at corner, Don Tari Poe at fullback. Let's see, you got a Roethlisberger Ponter, Miles Jack at halfback, Richard Sherman at wide out. Let me just see. Adore Jackson, he's probably pretty fast at wide receiver. 91. Not too fast. Tyrod Taylor at free safety. So yeah, I mean six foot three at tight end. Yeah, not not too impressive. 
So the ones that I would really be interested in is DeAndre Hopkins at free safety, and you got a Calvin Johnson at free safety. Deion Sanders at wide receiver, I mean, that's that's all right, but still, I mean, well, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, you got to be impressed with that, honestly, but... Yeah, let's go. Let's go see if the sets are out, like you were just asking. I just see. Let's yeah, old Bob's Burgers was asking. Let's go see what kind of sets they got. Yeah, now see, I'm I'm kind of a let down now because I maybe I should have waited another thirty seconds <laughs> just to get a chance at more Iron Man because you've seen how uh, my packs they turned or my presents turned into out of position packs. And yeah, I don't see any new sets for Iron Man. Tomorrow, I will definitely, I will be waiting until around 11 a.m. And let's see how many. I'm going to open up one more Iron Man pack just for entertainment value because honestly, this video has been a letdown. <laughs> But, uh, all right, let's see here. What do I need to go with? And basically, I know in my heart they're going to be releasing a Jalen Ramsey, and I'm saving up all the coins I can until that happens. So I'm, I'm assuming whenever they do release the Ramsey, he's going to be around 1.5 mil, and he might drop to around 1.2. I don't know. But I'm going to try and get my coin stash up to that. And uh, if not, I'm going to have to sell some cards. I mean, basically, that's the bottom line. I got about 200k right here. But uh, let's look at the presents. Let's get back to the presents. All right. So let's see here. I got four on the 20th. I got one large one. That's what makes it or a medium one. I didn't get any large or extra large. But uh, I got a medium and I got three smalls. And on the 21st, I got three smalls. On the 22nd, I got two, two mediums on the 22nd. On the 23rd, looks like I got four smalls. On the Christmas Eve, I got a, it looks like a small. And on Christmas Day, see here, I got, it looks like, three mediums on Christmas Day. And what is, is this a large? And that's a medium too. Yeah, they look different. You got me a little excited. But yeah, I thought I had one for uh, December 26th too, but I guess I didn't. I don't know. But yeah, that's the video for today, uh, and that's the plans for the future. I'm hoping, I, I really hope, let me go open up an Iron Man pack. I'm going to open up one more, and I'm really not going to waste too much time on that. Because like I, like I said, you see how they got the Ghost of Madden? I'm hoping, I mean, maybe they might not release a Ramsey. But he really does need an upgrade, honestly. I'm going to open up an Iron Man pack. And, like, I just went over all my presents. Like, I got, like, what do I have, like, four for tomorrow? Alright, let's see if we can get that free safety. Calvin Johnson or D-Hop, that'd be awesome. Six foot one, DeAndre Hopkins. Calvin Johnson is, of course, six foot five. His speed and acceleration, 91 and 92. Uh, 93 zone for the Calvin Johnson. Let's see that. DeAndre Hopkins, he's only 87 at free safety. See, last year they, they gave us a, a couple of strong safeties at linebacker, but that's really pointless this year because you can already put them in at sub linebacker. So, all right, this is the last pack. I'm not going to buy any more of these just because I'm a no money spent guy. And my honest opinion is that if you don't spend money, you're not going to get the best cards, you know? And as it, as it should be. If you spend money, then I think you deserve a little bit of a boost and uh, probability of getting the better cards. 
That's just because you're you're helping the uh, the ultimate team mode. You're helping it. You're con you're con contributing to it basically. Like me, all I do is play. So I got a, a Munyer, which is the the worst one. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Basically, I'm not opening up these packs, or I'm not spending my coins. Basically, if you're a no money spent guy. You're not going to have a, not a, a lot of luck out of uh, pulling packs. I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, every now and then, yes, you will get lucky. But um, I wouldn't spend a lot of coins. Especially, like, flashback packs and stuff like that when they were coming out. The heavyweight sets. I, I, I just, I, I didn't have any luck whatsoever. I would always get the lowest. And even with my, um, the, the legend bundles for leveling up. I literally got the lowest legends. I mean, and, and that's just how it is. But, uh... Yeah, let's see, uh... See how much they're going for. Let's see how much a Calvin Johnson or a Deion Sanders. So, I mean, Deion Sanders, that's not too far behind uh, Tyreek Hill. And I went back into the store. Like, Tyreek Hill, he's only 96-96, right? Speed and acceleration. And he's, he's got a good three, inch, three inches taller. How tall is Tyreek? Is he 5'8"? Five 5'9"? Foot five foot He's a Cowboys. Deion Sanders. I'm going to look at Hill real quick. Oh, he's only 95 speed. So, you got Deion with the same speed as Tyreek. I just seen a, a comment. Let me get back to it. What's the best card I got? Let me see here. Best card I got would probably be... Uh, I mean, not counting the, the stray hand or the... Uh, or the uh, Shazier. Wow, I might want to grab him. I'm gonna buy that. Cause that's got to go up. I mean, I'm thinking. 200K? I mean, I could be wrong. I might have just made a, a terrible gamble. But you got 95, 90, 95 uh, speed and acceleration. And I think, I I'm saying my best card right now would have to be the Richard Sherman. Just because of the 99 uh, zone. But yeah, see, I got I got uh, Tyreek up to ninety six, and Tyreek's going for well, I mean, yeah, he, he might not be a lot more than two hundred, but I think he's he he might not go up. I don't know, but I don't think he's gonna drop too far below two hundred. We'll see. Catching's ninety one. Catching traffic 75. We might play it a little bit with him. Put him in the lineup. Let's compare him to AJ Green. How about that? How about that? Well, he's a lot faster. His jump is the same. His catch is better. Catching traffic is not good at all. And he don't have good deep route runs. So, I mean, he's not really going to be that good of a... a a runner down the field, but we'll see. Let's put him in and uh, we'll play a little bit with him. If we if we can sell him back for 200k, which I'm pretty sure he'll go up. All right, let's. Uh, I don't want to play nothing too. But let's let's go look at and see what how do you rank up Sanders with the discs? 
uh, that's just the, the set, I think. If you get the set, I think you needed 150 discs. And uh, you get this card right here. Which is an awesome card. He's got 99 play rec, which I mean I got the zone defense, so that'd be 96 play rec, and then 95, 95 man in zone. But yeah, this card right here, I got the sprinter up to tier two, so got 91, 92 speed and acceleration, got a 99 zone, 96 man, 98 play rec, and of course that's six foot three. And what sets Sherman apart is his catch. His catch is at 93, so I mean that's pretty, pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty good card. Jump in at 96 with a six foot three card. And, and how I got, what I did with Sherman is for the gauntlet, I, I powered him up. Oh, if you, the only thing you can do with the disc, if you're not gonna do it with these sets right here. Hold on, is it in the archive? Cause honestly, I haven't looked at it. Wow, I guess they got rid of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess the only thing you can do with them now is uh, quick sell them, honestly. Yeah, I didn't pay, I didn't look at that. I mean, what did they quick sell for? A thousand? Yeah, that's, that's a shame right there. Especially if you had a, a a lot of them, like if you had a lot of them discs. But yeah, I'm hoping, I'm really really hoping that they come out with it a new uh, Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, that that is kind of that's not not too good. You got like twenty of them, but I mean you can say twenty k. I mean. It'd be nice if you could at least turn them into like trophies or something. If you can do more with them, I don't know. But yeah, Ramsey, if they just give him a little bit more speed, say like, let's see what they did with uh, Xavier Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes, his speed was 88, 87. Let me see. I think they bumped him. Did they bump him up? Yeah, 91, 90. So they give him plus three on his speed from his team diamond card. So if they give Jalen Ramsey a better card, and I'm sure it would be like at least a 95 or a 96. So I'm going to say more than plus three. I'm going to say plus four on the speed. So if it's at least 90 or 93 speed with 92 acceleration, and I'm pretty sure the, the new coverage would look similar to what I got right now. But the thing is, Ramsey hasn't had an outstanding season, like, in real life, so... I don't know. I'm not sure what they're gonna do. But... The thing about Devlin, is I got his lead block. I thought it, I had it up to 98. I might have, I'm not sure. But 97... That's not too bad with 91 impact block. Not too bad of a guy to follow behind when you're trying to run the ball. And yes, this Sean Taylor. He's quick. That's why I got him. That's why that's the whole reason I got him in instead of Derwin James. Which Derwin James is hands down gonna be or I don't know if he will be, but I think he deserves to be the uh defensive rookie of the year. And I don't know if they're going to upgrade his set, like do something with the core rookie sets or something like that. Or core rookie, uh, whatever you want to call it. Barry Sanders just gained 63 yards. What, what, what kind of game are you playing? Hold on, let me get in on it.
So you got Barry Sanders? All right, what what else can I let, let's put in that Dion? I'm gonna put him in over AJ Green and see what we can see what kind of uh, plays he can make. But I mean, I would think he's only one speed and one acceleration short of Tyreek. So I would think people would be going crazy. Because, I mean, as potent as speed is in this game. Because you can see the, the Blitz Tyreek is, is still at like 400k. Antonio Brown, he'll probably be getting a, a 96 uh, ready card. I'm pretty sure. All right, so let me see something real quick. I need to play some uh, some squads. But I'm not gonna play squads right now. I'm gonna play a solo battle or a solo challenge. Ooh. Iron Man. So okay, so there's a there's a new challenge set. Alright, so let's get Dion some some playtime. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see how how fast Dion actually is. Compared to uh we're gonna put Hill on one side and Dion on the other and see who can get open. Which is really not fair because uh, Tyreek Hill does actually have plus one speed on Dion. And I do got the sprinter chemistry on Hill because I'm not planning on keeping Dion. I just seen that 200K and thought it was kind of cheap for a 95 speed, 95 acceleration. I mean, it don't matter what the the uh, route running is, but maybe they're gonna release a lot more of him. I don't know. Maybe he'll come down. Maybe I just wasted 200k or 50k or however much I'm gonna lose on it. Oh man. Let me see here. Let's let's match him up to the. The cornerback, Deion Sanders. Because I think the regular Deion Sanders is 95 already. Yeah. And see, that's cool too. Like, last, I believe last season, I don't think, like, say, that they wouldn't let you start this Deion Sanders with this Deion Sanders. Like, they would have said, you've already got another Dion, so you can't start this guy. So you can actually start two uh, Dion Sanders in the same, with different positions. I mean, I, you might not be able to say, start, like, say if you got a, uh, a Dion at free safety, like, later on in the season or something, I don't know. But, uh, I'm sure you couldn't start two Dion's on defense, is what I'm saying. Or, like, you can't, you can't start a, uh, a power up with a blitz or a legend with a blitz is what I'm saying. Like you can't use the same card in the same position. But all right, so let's see here. Awareness, yeah, they're they're different. The strength, all the the main ones are pretty much. But you see, 91, they've got to drop the uh, the rating, like because this is a, a 95 overall cornerback, and you need a, a 90 overall. So I'm pretty sure like things like awareness they're gonna drop just to take a little bit off the rating. Just to keep it at a ninety overall. But yeah, uh, everything else looks pretty much identical. Short route running. They boosted that. They boosted medium route running. Boosted all the route running and all the receiver traits. Jumping ninety three.
tackle. Yeah, so see that they they took off some of the uh, the coverage traits. They knocked off and they added some receiving traits, which is kind of kind of obvious, like why you would want to do something like that. Pass block. These guys are all the same. All right. And they just knocked three points off of the awareness. Lead block, they added. So, I mean, it's pretty much the, the same kick return. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Both of these guys are identical when it comes to kick return. I don't see any kind of, uh, I mean, other than awareness. But... Like the agility and stuff. I mean, pretty much, you really don't need awareness if you're going to be using, you know, the kick return guy. Like, maybe it might hurt you. Like, if you just let the CPU. Alright, well, we're down by one. Ah, oh, come on. That's alright. Alright, who's playbook am I running? I'm running the uh, Saints playbook. Alright, but see, I don't know too many good plays, but. Let's see. We're just going to run. I'm going to put Sanders. I'm going to re-streak him. And I'm going to streak Hill. Alright. Let's see. We're just doing some Madden experiments right now. Alright, so Tyreek actually has a yard on him, we'll call it. Almost two yards, but let's see here. So it stays pretty... Nah, no, didn't. Neither one of them got jammed off the line. Alright. So right leg front and still about a yard, maybe one or something like that if you're going to get technical. Looks like Tyreek is actually, yeah, he's actually pulling away about a yard and a half. If I would have thrown it earlier, maybe. So, I mean, the, the speed... The speed attributes are actually pretty pretty accurate if you're going to look at this. I mean, Tyreek, he's fast, so is Dion, but Tyreek is actually pulling ahead just a, a, a little bit. I mean, it, it you've got to be really paying attention, but he did actually pull ahead. I can't remember. Like I, I think I got Tyreek at 97.97 right now. Speed, yeah, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, and Sanders is at 95, 95. So, yeah, I mean that that was pretty accurate. Neither one of them got jammed. Tyreek slowly gained an advantage. I mean, uh, like I'm impressed with that. I mean, honestly, I, I am impressed. Time. I was like, they might get jammed on this one. Oh, look at that. Right when I hiked it. Go ahead. 
Alright, let's go. Come on. Yeah, this, this. Zoom, zoom. Hey, check 26. I wonder if I just streak brown, I wonder if that will keep that safety off of him. Right. <laughs> that that looked that looked pretty fair too. I mean that looked cover four. I mean I think I could have thrown it to either one of them. Let's go let's go take a look at it. Let's have some fun with it. Alright, so they are lined up exactly equal. Alright, so let's look at the right foot. We're looking at the two guys in the back. We're looking at Hill and or on the side. Sanders. 95-95 speed on the right. 97-97 speed and acceleration on the left. It looks like Sanders might be getting tied up just a little bit. But as you can see, Hill is actually pulling away, as he should be. But I could have thrown it to Dion and probably got a lot of clean, a lot cleaner. Uh, touchdown. Yeah, see, he's getting a little bump and run right here, a little bump. Yeah, he's slowing him down just a hair, but not not enough to really. Over, yeah, yeah, N not enough bump coverage to discredit the experiment, should I say? All right, so let's let's look at the uh, the legs. Let's see the the left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. That's what I like to call it. All right, so you got I got to see both feet though. <laughs> you got left foot, right foot, left foot. Looks like Tyreek is already gaining on that. Looks like he's he's ahead a little bit. Left, right foot, left foot, right foot. I don't know. Maybe. See, I don't know if that's really, if you can use this method to see which one's going faster. Like, who has the, the most steps? <laughs> like, because maybe Dion has more strides. I don't know. I don't know. That, that was pretty cool though. But as you can see, Hill is actually definitely faster. Alright, so that was a touchdown. Let's uh I can't drag I got a deep route runner on Hill, so I can't drag him. I can't drag Sanders though. So I'm just gonna send these. Mm, I had him open. If somebody would have blocked over there. All right. I'm waking up a little bit. It's kind of fun, actually. Big boy, who's that Poe? Yeah, it is, huh? They got uh, Don Dontari Poe at uh, fullback. All right, I don't have no. Uh... I don't have no uh, out of position players on defense in my lineup. So. Yeah, it plays a lot different than solo battles, I can guarantee you. Solo battles will keep you <laughs> from getting them them user user skill bonus points. Yeah, my players do not play like this in solo battles for sure. Alright, my god. Yeah, they definitely do not. 
play like that. Like, I have no problem getting solo battles in on a, like, into a ultimate rewards. Alright, let's see here. Shouldn't have to worry about the sack. Wow, something happened. I guess Dion got jammed up. Yeah, it was like he got pressed. We'll get, we'll look at it, but I'm pretty sure he got pressed. I'm pretty sure this experiment is void. Yeah, it got bumped right here pretty hard. You talking about the, uh, you talking about these challenges here? Or are you talking about, you talking about the gauntlet? Because I did finish the gauntlet. I got two Richard Shermans. I got the uh, I got the the Richard Sherman 95 overall, and then I got the NAT Richard Sherman, the non-optionable, and I just used that in my power. Like I used that and to power me up. That's why my Richard Sherman is up to 97, and I put the the Sprinter chemistry. And honestly, I, I would not use the the Richard Sherman unless you have Sprinter chemistry at least up to uh, tier two at least get that extra speed and uh, acceleration. But yeah, I mean, the reason why I got Sherman in the first place was because of his coverage traits and his ball, ball handling traits. He can handle some balls now. <laughs> He had, he had good ball skills, that's for sure. But yeah, or are you talking about these? Yeah, okay, well that, that's what I'm working on right now. This is the, the first one. The uh, out of position. Well, let's, let's go look at them. Like, I got three seconds. I just want to get this touchdown real quick. If I can. But yeah, see with Devlin, he's got that uh, the strength. He's six foot three. He's got 97 lead block, 91 impact block. Oh man, I didn't want to move him way out there though. But 97 lead block. So with uh, Hunter Henry, which is the best blocking tight end still, and then just follow. Just all you got to do is follow Devlin. And usually he don't miss with the lead block at 97, and I believe his awareness is over 93. So I mean, my my Williams is 96. It, he might be boosted up to 97. Let's go look at it because I got West Coast chemistry, so and I got Sprinter chemistry on him too. So I, he's got an extra speed and an extra acceleration. So. I'm not sure. Let's go look at him. Richard Sherman. I bet I bet that Richard Sherman is a pretty good wide receiver. Honestly. Like with his his catching at six foot three. Okay, so all you do is get freaking snow. 
Yeah, steady. All you do is get. All you can do is get snow. Thirty five, so seventy, one forty five, one sixty. Yeah, that's really not too much. Two hundred seventy five snow altogether. And see, that's my problem is oh, 87 on your uh, Ricky Williams. Well, I mean, do you got all the list done? No, that's that's the shazier ones. So you just got to level up. Well, uh, what's your mutt level? Basically, if you want to level up. Which is a sleazy way. I, I, I did not use this way, but I've heard of people every time when you get into a squads game and everybody quits, they're doing that to level up quick. What they're doing is they're they're getting into a squads match and they wait till after the, the first kickoff and then they quit the game. So say 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 I'm in a in a squads match and my other two squads mates they leave. And I still play, but I win, I dominate. Well, I get the points, but they also get the points. They get the win as well. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of people doing that. Which, I mean, I, I don't, I didn't want to get my points that way. And yes, I, I've done it a couple times, but, <laughs> like, my my conscience eats at me. Like, I'm letting this, I'm, I'm playing for these guys, or I'm letting these guys play for me and get all my points. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really not, I, like, I'd rather do it myself, basically. But, yeah, let's go in and let's look at my Ricky Williams. I got him up to a 96 right now with the sprinter chemistry. Uh, you get the, the extra uh, speed, and you get the extra acceleration. So, let's see here. I got four more to get him fully maxed up. And I know for sure he would be at 97 then. But, as of right now, my Ricky Williams is at 96. And honestly, I'm not really wanting to add any more like chemistries and stuff like that until they come up with a, a new uh, Jalen Ramsey. Or at least until it's confirmed they're not going to. Because that's the card I want. I don't want to spend all my coins and then they drop a new Jalen Ramsey. I mean, honestly. That's just how it goes. And that's my, my plan. And that's what I'm going to try and do. But yeah. We'll see how it works out. But yeah, uh, let me see here. So you don't you don't do uh, you don't play squat. You don't do your week your weekly objective list. Like you see this right here. Like a lot of people will just do this. Three hundred training points. Okay. But yeah, I need to play some online games too. But check this out. This will help me out. I need seven more, more tackles with uh, Shay's ear, and then I will have 300k. So that's 700k right there. That's half of whatever 1.5 or 1.4. Oh, you've never noticed? Yeah, I mean it. It, it is kind of hidden because a lot of the times you got the daily list. But that daily list, it actually helps you out a lot because this is what I've gotten from daily list. It just in the and this is very rare. Like for like thirty days straight with the daily list, I've gotten one of these right here. But that's just because I that that was that's the worst quick sell. That's the lowest quick sell I could have possibly got. I got it for like thirty days straight. I did a video a couple days ago that says opening ten daily quick sells. And it was uh, 10 7500s. So I basically got 75k. But that's just uh, 
that's just because that's the, the way it was that's just the lowest one but in the last couple days i've gotten 100k i've gotten a 50k and i mean all of these aren't from like like a couple of these i, I believe the 50k i think is from maybe uh solo battles ultimate rewards the 15k and the 10k maybe from weekend league rewards something like that but i believe i did get the 100k i got that from a daily uh objective list completing that so uh So you got Mutt Squad. What is this? Uh, 48 hour limited events. Limited time events. Let's see what that is. But see, this is uh, this is the new duos. Like You don't have to have three friends. Now all you need is one friend. Somebody to play offense, somebody to play defense. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. Versus CPU limited event. Play to earn. Wow. So I need to find a partner. Play duos in this 48 hour event. Win all 10 games for a one time snowy pack times three bundle. Wow, I got to find somebody to play that with me. But yeah, well, with that said, I'm going to end this video because I've got to start playing that. I just noticed that. I don't know if that just if that started yesterday when's the 48 hours up but this video has been almost an hour long so far so yeah I opened up the presents it was kind of disappointing but I've got a feeling they're gonna blow our minds here in a little while like in a couple days like say maybe on Christmas Eve Christmas Day I think they're gonna drop some pretty hot uh, content really I think they're gonna I think this Aaron Rodgers and this Luke Keekley those are just a taste. And that Khalil Mack is honestly, those are three awesome cards. And those are actually three of my predictions. Not not the uh, not the Mack. L let me just, I'm going to go over my predictions. This was pre-Series 4. This was cards I'm predicting to come out for Series 4. And I know uh, Jalen Ramsey was one. Rhodes was one. Let's see here. Series 4 predictions. Let's see here. Wow. George Kittle. Wow, I expected a power up to come out for Saffold just because he's an awesome card so far. But uh, let's see here. Poe. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Brandon Cook. No, no, that's for the last series. Hold on. All right, here we go. So I was expecting a, a Sean Lee, uh, Andrew Norwell, Levante David, Gronkowski, a Kerrigan, a Ryan Kerrigan, which we already got one of him, I think. Yeah, we did with the uh, Zero Chill. Actually, with the Zero Chill, a lot of my predictions. I got uh, Cookie Harrison, I predicted him. Melvin Ingram did... Is there a new Melvin Ingram? But uh, Ryan Kerrigan, Luke Keekley, TJ Watt, Levante David, Miles Jack, Richard Sherman, Jalen Ramsey, Malcolm Butler, Desmond Trufant, Derwin James, Cam Chancellor, and a lot of them names, those are just my predictions. A lot of them have already came out. Like, Ones I was particular that I knew were coming out was uh, Ramsey, Kerrigan, Levante David, Andrew Norwell, Sean Lee, and Gronkowski, which a few of them they haven't released yet. So, let me see here. Who else? Travis Kelsey hasn't released yet. Antonio Brown, James Devlin hasn't gotten a new card. Uh, McCaffrey has already got one. Devontae Freeman's already got one. Tom Brady don't have one yet. Jason Kelsey, he's getting one too. I, I mean, that's guaranteed. But, uh, yeah, Norwell, maybe maybe uh, sitting. But did Assimile get one yet? The uh, left guard? I think he got one of these guys. 
Yeah, man, I was actually on the... <laughs> I was on fire picking these predictions, really. But, I mean, I, it really don't count because people can say, well, you made that after the Dagum list. But these were actually predictions for new power-ups. Like, really, like the, the Saffold. Let me see here. Like, I, I was actually off on the power-ups. But I was on on the Series 4 um, releases. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was predicting uh, power-ups. I was thinking Derrick Henry would get one. Shady McCoy, Kyle Fuller, uh, Kittle, Robert Woods, Miles Garrett, Quan Alexander, Deshaun Watson, Roger Saffold, and Chris Jones. That Those were my top ten picks. And I, I don't think a lot of them got. But, uh, yeah. With that said, I'm gonna get on these uh on these sets and I'm gonna try and find some kind of something to do to profit and get my coins back up over a million. That's what my uh my prerogative will be. And I've got to find a good Mutt Squads partner. I need a teammate and we got to get this going. I gotta get them rewards because that that looks like some awesome rewards, honestly. But uh as always, thank you for watching so much. Please, if it's not too much trouble, hit that like button. That's all I ask. That's all. I don't want no donations. Don't want no Patreon. No nothing like that. I just want to play with you guys. I want to interact, conversate, play a little bit of mutt. You teach me a little bit. Maybe I can teach you something. I don't know. But uh, anything that I can do for you, just let me know in the comments. Maybe I can make a video. I mean uh from one of your your comments maybe you can give me an idea to make a video any kind of experiments you want me to run it don't have to be like exclusively in mutt like i can go into regs play i can go into the lab i can fit i can try and figure out like if you want to like say what does impact block do maybe i can try and figure that out in the lab you know by uh editing uh player attributes stuff like that but uh yeah Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to try and come up with some fresh content. Something cool that ain't so boring. Like I, That's one of the biggest hurdles I'm, I'm, I'm facing is coming up with like new content that nobody has, has come up with yet. And keeping it entertaining. You know, which playing the game is actually fun enough. And talking to you, you guys at the same time. I mean... It's, it's it's really fun, and I mean, I really do appreciate you guys and EA for giving us the platform to do it on. But, uh, yeah. Basically, I'm trying, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find something that is interesting, and thank you guys. And, as always, I am Cam. You're watching Cam Addicts, and I'm out. Have a good day, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the December 20th op uh, present openings. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not stopping. Uh, yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna keep them. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. That's. That's what I'm gonna do. I. I think that's one of the things that I am uh, realizing that I just need to start streaming more often, basically. And then I come up with. I like. It just flows. Like once you. Once you start, the stream just flows. You know. And uh, I can't do it without you guys basically, is uh, you guys make it flow for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll start playing and have no idea what I'm going to talk about. Then I start talking with you guys, and it, it becomes a two-hour stream before I know it. So, uh, yeah, I definitely I cannot do it without you guys, and I can't thank you guys enough. So, uh, with all that said, I'm going to get off of here for now. <laughs> so you don't have to hunt. I'll be on. I'll drop by every now and then. At least I'll say hey on your stream. But no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep on streaming. I love it, and uh, I'm I'm gonna keep on streaming. That, that's for sure. I love this game, and I love the platform. I love YouTube, and I love you guys talking with you and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, if not sooner. And have a great day. Peace out. Deuce. <laughs> All right.